Hey friends, I'm Ashish from Guiding Tech and welcome to Photo Fridays. So, as you might know that we have started new theme-based videos on our channel and Fridays will be all about tips and tricks related to smartphone photography. Now, if you've noticed that I am in HL Museum, Bangalore, and today we are going to talk about everything it is to there to the HDR mode when it comes to smartphone cameras. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So friends, before we begin, let me give you a quick insight on what HDR mode is. Now, high dynamic range photography is achieved by taking multiple pictures, usually three to five, at a variety of different exposures in quick succession and combining them with software. The software then produces a single image with higher range of colors and brightness, pulling the higher exposure and lower exposure in the right area. Well, that was easy, but the next question that might be popping up on your mind is when you should be using the HDR mode. Now, have a look at my background. You, you see some, pi, uh, some part is uh, brightly lit and some part like the grass are not that well lit. So this is ideal for you to use the HDR mode. When nothing is moving and everything is uh, like still in the background, the HDR mode comes as a perfect shot to give you more lighting on every focus point. On your phones, all you need to do is turn on the HDR mode and then just point and shoot. Make sure to keep the camera still when taking the photos and while it's processing. So these are the photos which were shot without the HDR mode while this particular one was shot with the HDR mode turned on and you can see for yourself how brightly lit every point is when compared to the previous ones. HDR modes are best suited when you are doing landscape shooting and you have some part of the scene that are brightly lit up while others are not getting that much of light. Using HDR, you can take photos of dark and bright light uh, without ruining the point of focus. Any situation in which the shot you are framing has wide range of brightness or a situation of a portrait where the subject is lit from behind and much darker than their surrounding, HDR will let you brighten your subject in the foreground while keeping the background in the correct brightness as well. Scenario like this where you have multiple moving objects, the HDR mode should be ignored. As I already mentioned, HDR mode clicks multiple photos in different exposure level and everything moving in any of the frame will be blurred in the final photos. Now photos in extremely low light are also not suitable for HDR photos. Finally, you have to note that the quality of the HDR depends on the smartphone sensors and how efficiently your phone processes these images. So these are some of the photos that were shot in normal along with the HDR mode in the HL Museum Bangalore and you can see the difference for yourself. The ones on the top are shot using the auto mode and the lower ones are shot in the HDR. So guys, that was how you can use the HDR mode on your smartphone cameras to make the most out of the landscape photography. Now, if you have any doubts or if you have any suggestions, please do let us know in the comment section. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do press the subscribe button. And if you like the video and the efforts behind it, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. This was Ashish from Guiding Tech and I hope to see you in my next video. Till then, take care and have a great day.